Hey guys, today we are making something called pineapple chow. It is very easy to make and absolutely mouth watering. So sit back and enjoy the ride. The ingredients you will need today are a medium to large pineapple, 3 to 4 cloves of garlic, 2 tablespoons of culantro or 4 tablespoons of cilantro, 1 to 2 tablespoons of lemon or lime juice, a half cup of water, salt and black pepper to taste and a scotch bonnet pepper to taste. So guys, let's start prepping to make our pineapple chow. That's how we call it in Trinidad and Tobago. Some may call it pickled pineapple. First off, I'm going to finely chop some culantro, about 2 tablespoons. You can also use cilantro as a substitute, they are similar in taste. We also need 2 large cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Here guys, we are combining the culantro and garlic and giving it a fine mince with my knife. This will take a while, so let's speed it up a bit. So our culantro and garlic are all minced up, about a quarter cup or so. And you must be wondering what next? Scotch bonnet pepper of course, we are going to be using about half of scotch bonnet pepper thinly sliced with the seeds and all. We have got to get that heat on. If you are afraid of the heat, you can use a milder pepper such as a bird's eye pepper or a chili pepper. That will work as well. But if you know me by now, bring on the heat. Now it's time to prep our pineapple. First off, I'm going to cut off the top of the pineapple. Now it's time to start peeling the pineapple. I am not peeling the pineapple as thick as people usually do and we'll see why later down in the video. Here's a tidbit for you guys. We also use the pineapple skin and the other trimmings from the pineapple to make pineapple juice. I may do a video on that. So now the pineapple skin has been removed. This is where it's going to get a bit interesting guys. The eyes of the pineapple runs in a spiral direction of sorts. Well boys and girls, let me show you how we remove the eyes in the pineapple. This is not too difficult so long as you have a very sharp knife. Okay, I think you have got the gist of it, so let's speed up things a bit. I am by no means a professional at doing this, but I do a pretty fine job if I do say so myself. I'm also going to remove the bottom of the pineapple as well. After doing that, I'm going to cut the pineapple into four lengthways and also remove the hard core of the pineapple. After cutting the pineapple into four sections, this is how I'm going to remove the center of the pineapple from each segment. Take your knife and hold a segment of the pineapple upright and Gradually from top to bottom, slide your knife straight down and remove the core of the pineapple. And this is the hard core I'm holding in my hand. So now that we have removed the hard core from each section of the pineapple, we are now going to cut them in slices. 
You want your slices of pineapple to be at least a quarter inch thick or at least the thickness of a pencil. So our pineapple is all sliced up boys and girls. Let's place our pineapple in the bowl. Now that our pineapple is all sliced up and placed in the bowl, it is now time to season it. Remember that season that we finally chopped up our culantro and garlic and also our scotch bonnet pepper. It will be all added into the pineapple. And here's our visitor, Buddy. Here I'm adding about a tablespoon of brown sugar. This is optional. Add your SPG to taste. This is your salt, pepper and garlic. Here I'm using the juice of one lime. The acidity of the lime juice complements the sweetness of the pineapple and the brown sugar. Well boys and girls, it's time to give this a good old mix to make sure everything is properly well incorporated. So this is what we are looking at here guys, our pineapple chow or pickled pineapple as some people may call it. Oops, I nearly forgot to add a half cup of water. Oh no! And give it a bit of a mix again and we are there. So here's our delicious pineapple chow ready to be eaten. Hope you guys give this a try, it is super simple to make. I hope you all enjoyed the video, like, comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications for more videos. See you all on our next cooking journey and we're out until next time.